Elspeth, you've been here at Citywide since the early, early mm -hmm. days. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your earliest memories of being at Citywide? I think my earliest memories is dressing up on a Sunday morning. Um, we lived in Bastic Street, which is the same street as Rosny College, and dressing up in all our finery as you did in those days. My dress and my white lace-up boots, which were my favourite, and then walking to church as a family. And um, rain, hail or shine, that was. Now, I guess about a year or so ago, you came back to Citywide after mm. being away for quite a while. What's it been like to be back at Citywide? It's been really nice. I think it's really lovely to have three generations um, for my family and hopefully for others to get to know all of us. Um, and I also like um, everyone that's at church and the, the age range. So there's from new babies right through to older people and some of those older people that have been around in my life from when I was young. So it's just been really delightful actually. So, I don't know if everyone will be familiar with this, but tell us about your job. Yeah, so I'm a civil engineer. I went to UTAS in Hobart, so I did all my schooling in, in Hobart. And um, since I finished 30 years ago, my uni, so 30 years ago this year, um, I've worked in infrastructure planning and designs. At the moment I'm working on a large infrastructure project which is involving um, local government and the private sector and the state government and looking at what infrastructure is needed in the region of Tasmania including um, car parking, what do we need for tourists and toilets and roads and buildings and infrastructure so and then what funding do we need how are we going to deliver it what contracts do we need so so very large multi-million dollar infrastructure planning um yeah so uh it sounds like you're doing more than sitting at a table and drawing pictures hmm. a large part of what you're just describing is a lot of meetings and and working with people yeah, it is actually. I mean, I do sit in front of a computer a lot and I do use Excel spreadsheets and do do designs, but it is a lot of meeting with people, working out options, stakeholder engagement, um, and that's through from things like Aboriginal heritage through to working with, say, Taswater and water and sewerage and then uh, different government ministers and all sorts of things. So, and then federal government and state government looking at funding and local government. So, yeah, lots of meetings and lots of talking to people, but that's one of the aspects of my job that I do enjoy. So, as you reflect on it, how does, uh, what, what have you learned along the way? How, how does your faith affect this journey in, and this kind of career? Um, I think looking back right from the start, just having the right people to help you make decisions and to me I've, I think God has paved the way for that to make some of those decisions and put the right people in the right place. And the example of a teacher in grade 9 that noticed that no females had enrolled for advanced maths for grade 10 um, and came to a few of us and said you should be doing this, you have the ability and so as a group the few of us agreed to do it. If one did we all did which was good. But if that hadn't happened in grade nine, I would never have been able to do what I did in grade 11 and 12 or go to uni or do anything that I've done before. So to me, it just I feel blessed that that opportunity happened, but also that somebody actually um, took some action to, to have a chat to us and it totally changed my life and others too, I think. So how does that impact you now 30 years down the track as now probably one of the senior people in the field here in Tassie uh, how, how does what you've learnt over the journey and even reflecting on faith and things affect mm. you now? I think I have I feel like I have a responsibility to be that same sort of person to others whether it's I mean I am involved with um, promoting careers in STEM and some of those sort of things so giving people opportunities to think about doing work like what I do. Um, also, I have had the opportunity twice to go overseas um, with water and sewerage and aid type um, opportunities. So highlighting to people that there's lots of variety in what you can do 
is really important to me. But then also being a mentor for younger people who are working now and saying, you know, make sure you look out for these opportunities or have you thought about this is really important. So tell us, how can we as a church be praying for you in this pretty important field you're part of? Um, I think with what I do and who I deal with and everything, it's really about um, having the integrity and the wisdom to do what I do well. And then also to have my eyes and ears and heart open to um, working with other people and seeing where they might need help or support. Because it is amazing. Professionally, you might be in a meeting talking about something and then afterwards you end up talking to people much more personally and and people tell you about what's going on in their lives or, you know, you do have the opportunity to input into people's lives, even in a professional environment. So being open for those opportunities, I suppose, is the key thing.